From NPR and WBEZ Chicago, this is Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me, the NPR News Quiz. I'm Carl Castle, and here's your host at the Chase Bank Auditorium in downtown Chicago, Peter Sagal. Thank you, Carl. Thanks, everybody. This week, we're talking about things we do well in the hope we can convince you to donate to help us keep doing it. But sometimes things don't go so well. On our show of February 2nd of this year, we had a limerick contestant who had a little trouble. Here we go. Here's your first limerick. This librarian has a new role. The stacks I no longer patrol. The patrons all flip as they check out my strip. I'm dancing and working the... Oh. Mm. <laughs> strip. Dancing. Think Nickelback music. Yeah, if you... <laughs> No idea. It's Paul. Oh. Paul. Mayfield Public Library in Scotland is hoping to attract new membership and interest in the library by offering a free pole dancing class this weekend during an event called <laughs> Love Your Library Day, also known as the only way we could get men who aren't homeless into the library day. <laughs> Here we go. Here's your still have two more chances. Let's see if we can get it. Here's your next limit. Snoop Lion's not hanging with thugs. He mentors young kids who need hugs. He's sowing some seeds with his knowledge of weed. He's teaching those kids about... Grub? Grub? Shrub? Not shrubs. Shrubs. <laughs> Although that would be nice if Snoop <laughs> Lion would teach them about shrubbery. <laughs> Snoop Lion, by the way, Snoop Lion used to be known as Snoopy the Snoop Dog. Snoop Dog, remember? All right, let's hear it one more time. <laughs> well, you, you know, in, the, in my community, they call shrubs. Yeah, I understand. All right. Here we go. One, one more time. You'll get it. Snoop Lion's not hanging with thugs. He mentors young kids who need hugs. He's sowing some seeds with his knowledge of weed. He's teaching these kids about... Bud? Just, he's just trying to get Carl to talk about this morning. Well, you got the rhyme right. But no, it's not bugs. <laughs> and it's still not shrubs. Yeah. Sowing some seeds, knowledge of weed. I mean, it's Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. I mean, come on. <laughs> Any thoughts on this? Uh... Just say no. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Uh, what do you think? Uh, this is on me. Yeah, it's on me. <laughs> Tim, it's all on you. We're, we're waiting. One more, one more stab at it. What do you think? I'm out of guesses on this one. How about drugs, Tim? The artist formerly known as uh, Snoop Dogg, now known as Snoop Lion, is penning a children's book called It's Just a Plant, A Children's Story of Marijuana. Before you jump to the conclusion that Snoop is condoning pot use among kids, let me assure you that is exactly what he is doing. <laughs> the plot of the book, and this is uh, true, is about a little girl who learns about the wonders of Mary Jane, and instead of ending happily ever after, the book segues into the very, very hungry caterpillar. <laughs> the, the week that this happened, Tim just blew up on Twitter and in our emails. He became a sort of wait, wait, folk hero. People wondered what happened. Was he too nervous? Um, did he intentionally throw the game as a kind of like, joke or like, you know, cool hipster thing to do? People were wondering. But then we discovered the error wasn't his, it was ours. So we brought Tim back the next week while we were doing our show in Dallas, Texas to make things right. And you're going to hear what we did here for the first time. <laughs> now, we have a bit of business to attend to. Last week, in our listener limerick game, we did a limerick about a children's book about marijuana. We said the book was written by Snoop Dogg, or as he's now known, Snoop Lion. The book is real. It's called It's Just a Plant. It's all about marijuana. It's a kid's guide to marijuana. But it is not by Snoop. It's by a man named Ricardo Cortez, or as he's now known, Ricardo Lion. Our <laughs> limerick contestant got it wrong, and it cost him the game... So right now, we'd like to welcome him back and give him a fair shot. Here we go. Tim, are you there? Yes, sir. 
Tim, great to talk to you again. Glad to be back. So, Tim, last week you lost our game. Uh, we wanted to say that we're sorry. It was our fault. We got something wrong. Um, how did it feel to come on and, 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 and not win? Uh, pretty not good. Really? Yeah. Yeah, looking back now, looking at the game tape, what do you think happened? Uh, I blanked out. You blanked out? Yeah. Did, uh, did your friends give you any grief for, for not winning the game? Uh, Monday I came into work and people were like, that was terrible. That really? was the worst I've ever heard it. Yeah. Yeah. Where, really? Where do you work? Showtime. Oh, Showtime? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, at least it's not like a preschool or something. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> that was terrible, too. Anyway, so we only assume you got that one limerick wrong because you knew the story. You were like, that wasn't written by Snoop Dogg. It was written by Ricardo Cortez. You knew oh, that. I knew that all along. Exactly. And you were so thrown by your, our inaccuracy that you couldn't get out the answer. Yeah. Well, this is what we've decided to do. We have written a special limerick just for you. If you get this one right, it'll give you a total score of two out of three and you will win. Okay? So here's your chance. Great. Here we go. Carl? It appears that our facts were quite slim. Someone else wrote Snoop's drug book, not him. You were quite brave to play, but we led you astray. We're so sorry. Now, what's your name? Kim. Yes! You got it right! <laughs> well done! <laughs> and so, Carl, how ultimately... Did Tim do on our quiz? He did very well, Peter. Correct <laughs> answer, so he wins our prize. Well done, Tim. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, guys. That's the kind of show we are. When we make a terrible error, we occasionally, maybe once every couple of years, correct it. That's because we respect you. Now, you can show your respect by donating to the station so it can continue to broadcast responsible journalism most of the time, and then us one hour a week. Here's the number to call. That number is 1-888-376-WNYC, 888-376-9692. Of course, you can make an online pledge as well at WNYC.org. I'm Richard Hake. I'm here in the studio with WNYC's Jacqueline Sincata, and we are in the middle of our spring membership drive. It's the weekend. It's WNYC. It's when we ask that you do your part and become a member of this station. And Jacqueline... As I mentioned, it's the weekend, and we have a great weekend special. What would the weekend be during a pledge drive without us offering any great, enticing weekend special? And we do have one for you now. Every single pledge to WNYC made right now online at WNYC.org will automatically receive either your choice of a one-year subscription to Wired Magazine or The Atlantic magazine. You get to pick which one of those magazines you prefer. You, of course, get to pick the pledge level that you support WNYC at, whatever level is good for you. We're only asking that if you want to take advantage of this special offer for Wired or The Atlantic, that you do make your pledge online at WNYC.org. And we've got a great pledge form there. It's really easy. It's streamlined. You'll be there and done within just a few minutes of your time. Take your credit card, run with your credit card to your website if you can, to our website. 888-376-9692. We're still taking pledges at the phone number, of course, but in order to take advantage of this weekend special uh, for a free magazine subscription, we are asking you to pledge at WNYC.org. And also, Jacqueline, we have to emphasize that this is in addition to any That's thank right. you gift that you select. You can check them all out on our website. One of the most popular ones, of course, is the New Yorker magazine. You can join us as a sustaining member. Pledge $10 a month. That's a $120 yearly contribution to WNYC. And not only will you get to choose between the Wired and the Atlantic, but we will also send you the New Yorker magazine for an entire year. If you're already a sub subscriber to that, we'll tack on an additional year. So you'll get those two publications. You will get WNYC for That's a right. pledge of $120. We would like to thank you so much if you've called and contributed. If you haven't done your part, why not do it right now? Get in on this weekend special at WNYC.org. WNYC, New York Public Radio, and The New Yorker Magazine, essential companions for everyone who wants to stay informed. Become a member of WNYC, and we can set you up with a subscription to The New Yorker Magazine. Shouts and murmurs, talk of the town, and those famous New Yorker cartoons, Henrik Hertzberg, Cy Hirsch, David Denby, Ross Chast. 
Support New York Public Radio now, and you will receive a year's worth of thoughtful news and analysis from WNYC and The New Yorker magazine. Visit WNYC.org or call now and pledge $120 at 1 376 WNYC. 888-376-9692 is that phone number, all with the numbers, if that's easier. 888-376-9692. A subscription to The New Yorker is yours for a $10 a month pledge as a sustaining member of WNYC. And don't forget, you can also choose either Wired or The Atlantic magazine as your bonus thank you gift if you make your pledge online at WNYC.org. And your pledge is what keeps WNYC on the air. That is the simple equation in public radio. We rely on the listeners who use this service to turn around and throw us back a few dollars so we can keep it going for you and for everyone else. 888-376-9692 if you'd like to make your pledge by phone to support Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me, and all of the great programs you hear on the weekends on WNYC, as well as during the week, or make that pledge online, WNYC.org, and you get that bonus offer of either Wired or The Atlantic magazine. You know, and contributing to WNYC isn't just about supporting all of the, you know, the serious, insightful news reporting that you hear all week long here at WNYC. It's also about the fun. It's about Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me. This American Life, Weekend Edition, Radio Lab, Studio 360, On the Media, Jonathan Schwartz. You know, these are shows with personality. Uh, they have a sense of humor. There's wit involved. It's what public radio is all about. And each weekend, WNYC helps you kind of recharge with a break from the ordinary. And we air programs like Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me and everything else that you get on WNYC. So we know you take your fun seriously, so take um, becoming a member of WNYC seriously right now. Call us up at 1-888-376-9692 or WNYC.org. And again, we're encouraging you to try out the sustaining membership here at WNYC. It's a really easy way of giving to WNYC on a monthly basis. Maybe that's a smaller amount than you would think to give annually, so it probably fits into your budget. Maybe that's $5 a month. Maybe that's $10 a month. You can get the New Yorker magazine for that pledge. Maybe it's $20 a month, or for some folks it is $100 a month. Whatever level is right for you is right for us. Just please do it right now, 888-376-9692 or WNYC.org. From NPR and WBEZ Chicago, this is Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me, the NPR News Quiz. I'm Carl Castle, and here's your host at the Chase Bank Auditorium in downtown Chicago, Peter Sagal. So... Like we've been saying, thank you everybody, like we've been saying, it's fundraiser week and we're doing that devious thing where we play things you like so you'll donate money to help us keep doing them. It's manipulative, but it works. And one of the things you like is Paula Poundstone. Specifically, you like Paula when she gets annoyed, especially with scientific studies. For example, a study out of Hiroshima University in Japan showing that watching cat videos at work can increase productivity. So it's Hiroshima University? Yes. I'm just making a list of places that my kid can't go. <laughs> Paula, you, now you, you, you posted some pretty awesome cat videos. Thank uh, you. It's my yeah. interest in productivity. Yes. 